what is going on guys it's your boy Cecil here bring us a video here today bring us a Photoshop tour how to make your own tropical abstraction banner design you saw how I said that it's because I kind of like the title of this video here today like my first time ever having a title in my mind before the actual video starts it's the best thing ever okay I swear to God it's I think it looks really good I think it personally it sort of just goes with this really cool little abstract sort of rectangular shape now of course you can have any shape in the world you kind of want but I chose rectangulars or excuse me I chose rectangles rectang this is uh, English is a very hard language I chose rectangles and a diagonal and like different like ratios and size and so this had like uh like maybe an individual pattern in either one of them or just having in a few of them as you can see I have like lines I have like squigglies dots over here and that's repeated throughout the action entire uh the entire thing so that was pretty cool I have a pretty like summary color scheme going on I have my little swatches right here I'll really quickly just run through them so you guys can get the hex codes if you guys wish to right here um it, it would look even cooler as well if you had more of a darker scheme going on as well like maybe like a dark nice like blue dull something going on there and then like a reddish tone and then maybe just like i don't know you can have a lot more fun with the color scheme i went a little wild i feel like i have a very very tropical sort of summery color scheme however you can make the color scheme more tighter i think it might look even like better than it actually originally what you would think um so yeah also like maybe even putting like i guess like a mountain sort of uh how do you say like a mountain picture in the background here with like a luminosity you know you can you can flirt this thing up very lot like i think so i really really think so and of course i made it called tropical abstraction because of or abstraction because of like little palm tree leaves you know what i mean like i was like you know summer's pretty much almost over let's just do one more little video about summer a little bit maybe not i don't know it kind of works out summer tree so or excuse me palm trees summer that kind of go hand to hand so uh that's the reason for the whole palm trees no real other reason besides i wanted something like really really cool to kind of like weave through or even like like this is possibly my favorite part about it you kind of have this leaf or excuse me leaf like you know fade and then almost come through on this green something around here as well like it just looks really freaking good and if i had more sort of uh i guess setups where it looked more like this it would look even cooler however it does look pretty cool i do like it a very lot and it's very easy to do as well it looks really freaking awesome so two likes on the video you can see it down below guys so if you can leave a like on the video most likely be the psd of this video here today and uh yeah let's go ahead and get this thing going and uh, yeah I'm, okay let's just let's just do it i'm gonna stop talking now okay okay guys let's go ahead and get this thing started so i'm gonna hide my little uh of course my example already here and i'm also gonna keep my swatches up right here as well i'll probably put in the psd video as well or excuse me psd download as well so that you guys have the same exact color schemes otherwise i'm just gonna say them out loud and you can just copy them and then you know paste them in your little color picker so the one thing i use in this video a lot was of course the rectangle tool now you could use a rectangle marquee tool which is like a, sort of like a dotted line version of it that you have to fill in manually however if you use a rectangle tool it's pretty much gonna be rasterized for you already and then you're pretty much good to go um let's just go ahead and just click and drag i'm gonna make it fairly like skinny or we'll just make it bigger why not for now perfect size right there now for this of course if you don't if you're familiar with illustrator you have a fill and a stroke my previous tutorials i use a lot of the stroke and not the fill so you're gonna make sure you just sort of invert that so if you don't have your fill on you just click over here click on a color i'll just i'll change it a little bit but if you have a stroke here as you see my stroke is a dotted line you can just choose to like line a dotted line or like a dashed line or a dotted line so i have that on right now because usually i would use that in like previous tutorials however i'm going to turn this off we're just clicking on this little box here that has like a red slash going through it and there you go now it is off and now your fill is on and this is how you can change your color freely and if you click on this box you can actually choose the actual color you want besides using the color overlay which i'm probably going to use anyway but just so you guys know all right so i'm going to use the movement tool here and i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard i'm going to rotate this and give this a nice little angle to start off with and i'm going to throw this over on the left hand side boom just like so so i'm gonna start off with this one here i'm gonna pretty much press alt and then drag to make a duplicate i'm gonna press ctrl t i'm gonna hold ctrl excuse me i'm gonna hold shift and control oh, excuse me shift and alt that way i can make a nice bigger shape really quickly as you can see it's making a nice little bigger one i'm gonna press this little check mark here and i pretty much i would suggest you only really need is two different shapes here which is gonna be this little normal size one and a little bigger one that we just made otherwise we're just gonna pretty much overlap now and then it'll be very very easy in the future to actually you know of course make the whole little pattern i guess you would say with the rectangles so i'm gonna go ahead and make this uh rectangle here a little bit darker like i said before i'm just gonna use the color overlay and layer style mode i'm just gonna click on this here i believe it was this color nope it was then this one uh 
I mean, we can just fit, like manually do it ourselves. Let's make it a little bit more darker. Hex code is 2E9B3D for a darker green than what we have over here, which is just in case you want to know, is hex code 39B54A. And I'm pretty much press OK. Press OK again. Oops. Let's go ahead and make sure that we don't press OK and just make the color a little darker. I changed the hex code again, but whatever. It's just make sure you're darker green and then a lighter green. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do this now. I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much drag or control J, which is this bigger rectangle, right? I'm just gonna call this small rectangle. And we're gonna call this big rectangle so you guys know which ones I'm actually copying. So with this big rectangle here, I'm gonna drag this right below the small rectangle, the first one we had here. I was gonna make this a nice little skinnier one. So I'm gonna make that around that size is pretty good. So I'm gonna color overlay click over this color picker i'm going to choose this blue here which is hex code at 215b63 i'm going to press ok press ok again and then now i'm going to do is pretty much rinse and repeat this entire process so i'm going to take the big rectangle control j it's to make a duplicate of it and i'm just going to drag it below everything and then this time i'm going to make this rectangle very very big just like so and then for this one we're going to choose the color let's just do maybe this one or this one which one looks better probably like that one so hex code 42b 6c6 press ok press ok again and that's gonna pretty much make maybe like two more rectangles so pretty much of course like before copy the big rectangle throw it behind everything and then sort of just gauge what you kind of want as the uh, the size of it so I'm gonna choose like something like that that'll do okay so let's just go ahead and change this color to the other green that I have here which is like located right here We'll just do that one and then we'll probably just finish it off with like one more sort of a uh, good size rectangle so i'm just going to go ahead and just copy the big one again drag it below everything move it over and then we'll just say that that is pretty much how it goes we're going to go ahead and just change this color to which one is this one so let's just do this one Oop, this one now all right cool press ok press ok again now you're going to run into the situation where you of, by the way you want to have rules in your middle and like i guess pretty much diagonal excuse me horizontal um no that was you know what i mean up and down is vertical there we go english is a very hard language rose all right so vertical make sure you have your vertical ruler in here that way you can actually see where the middle of your uh banner dimensions is so if you want to quickly just show you guys how i did that pretty much what i mean by that is if whatever dimension size you're in whatever banner you know you're doing period I'm in a 30, uh, excuse me, I'm in a 3,000 by 1,000 dimension in pixels, which is pretty much a Twitter, or excuse me, yeah, Twitter header dimension. So this, whatever dimensions you're in, just so you know, press Control R on your keyboard to bring up these rulers on the top and then the sides here. Take on the, on the left hand side, click on the actual ruler itself, drag it out, and then pretty much you can sort of guess where the middle is. And then what you want to do is pretty much hover over it, and then you'll kind of feel like a little snap. Like right now, it's kind of snapping right here, and you can see it consistently snapping. That is where the middle is perfectly, and you saw it said 1500 uh, px, which is like pixels and stuff like that. So, of course, half of 3000 would be uh, 1500, excuse me. So, there you go. That's kind of where you know the middle is, and that's you want to have. You make sure you want to have at least that ruler there. That way, you can, when you come to this situation right here, what you're going to do is just press M on your keyboard, right single marquee tool, and then just get rid of this little bit. That way, you have, oops, let's rasterize this layer type. Click on it and there we go. We get this little bit, that way you have one simple diagonal line going down here. So what happens is, when I would, you know, just so I'm gonna really quickly show you the example, is when I would uh, group this together or just copy it over, and I were to like flip it horizontal to make it perfectly uh, symmetrical, you will have something like, like this. Now, this is really cool if you wanna have more of like a this style and have like a very nice color in the background here, it would look pretty awesome or something like that, but just know that that is why I do that. But of course, if you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. But for now, we'll just leave it as so because what we're going to do first before I do anything is make sure we put our patterns in. So I'm going to make sure I rasterize all these layer types. That way I can actually use uh, all my like layer overlays or layer uh, styles without actually messing around with anything with the whole little colors or whatever. Because sometimes if you have like a certain layer style, you can actually have the layer style over a color overlay because it just kind of like cancels each other's out. So I'm going to go to this first rectangle here. I'm going to throw in a pattern overlay. Now... I don't have, I don't know where I got, where I, I'll, I'll find them for you guys. So pretty much there's like an overlay pattern pack or something like that where kind of like you have these lines and stuff like that and they look freaking awesome. So I'm gonna, I'll make sure I give you guys this so you can actually do the same thing I'm doing here. And they're very fun, very cool. And so pretty much I'm gonna use this one, the little diagonal squiggly line. 
blend mode, put it on either overlay or darken something. You'll figure it out when you kind of like work with it a little more. Uh, let's just put it like right there. That one's okay. And I'm going to go to this fourth one here, which is located right here. I'm going to double click on this one, put another pattern overlay in here. Let's just use the like line one. We'll use it on overlay as well. Lower the opacity down a little bit. And we'll say that's pretty good. And then we'll do in the last one here, just like a nice little dotted line one. So pattern overlay, click on here, and I believe this is the dotted line one. Put it on overlay, and then lower the opacity down a little bit, just so it's not crazy. I think that looks, excuse me, pretty good. Um, maybe just mess around with this a little bit. Like, I mean, that's okay. That'll be fine. All right, cool. So pretty much once you have this, now you have like, you see you have a little patterns in here, which just like makes it a little more eye catching and sort of like a little more fun, a little more, you know, abstract stuff. Now, if you want to put textures in here, that would not be a bad idea. Also, this is where I was talking about in the beginning of the video where you can put like a little pictures in there. If you want, um, you can pretty much drag, let's just drag any picture in for now. Uh, let's just drag a picture of me. That's, this is going to be funny and weird, but yep, let's put that in there really quickly. And if you want to drag a picture and you want to put it on something or on a certain rectangle, just pretty much put it over that shape and then right click, clipping mask it right there and just like so. So you can have a picture right in there and then put it on luminosity or something like that. And then lower the opacity down. Now I'm probably going to do this for my example. So if you get, if you see that in there, that's why I didn't, and, you know, just because, you know, I always usually try to make my, my example in the video look as best as possible. But this is what I meant by actually putting pictures in if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, of course, right now, but just know that that is a certain thing you can do. And I think it would look way, way better if you guys do that as well. That's not going to do that for my example video uh, in the beginning of the video. So you probably already saw it, but okay. Right now, I'm pretty much almost done with this whole first part thing to make it look really good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this rectangle shape again. And I'm going to pre pretty much just make a nice perfect rectangle, just like so. Oops, okay, of course I had to let go of Alt and Shift. There we go. Now let's just make sure we turn the stroke off, turn the fill on. Let's just put it on any color right now. And then for this rectangle here, I'm going to pretty much just rotate it, Control T, right? I'm going to try and make sure it's as perfectly on this line here as I could get it. It'll probably be a little difficult, but we'll try to get it as cleanly as we can. Uh, and a little more this way. I mean, that's very, very close. We'll just leave it like, okay, dude, let's just, okay, okay. Let's just please work with me and I can spend my entire day on this, I swear I could. Let's just say, for sake of the video, that that is closely on the line as possible. Now I'm gonna do is I'm make one more duplicate of this, and just make it a smaller one. And these are just gonna kinda break the whole horizontal feel, and kinda have more of like a nice little, it kinda has like a nice little break in it. Will look pretty good, and that'll look freaking awesome. I'm just gonna make this one a little bit bigger, like so. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm gonna change this color here, so a certain color like so, but make it a little more vibranter. Is that a word? Probably not. Vibranter. Sorry, I don't know that one. Who? Well, no one's talking to you, Alexa. Why did you even turn on? Um. Okay. Anyway, so pretty much turn this on here, and then we'll just make a color. Let's just choose like a greenish tone. Put that nice up there as well. Okay. So you can, see, you can see the little mess up right here. But I'm just gonna fix it just a little bit. It should be as clean as possible. So once you have this part like pretty much done. At this very moment in time, you see this, like, this little blue one here, this green one here that have nothing on them. I'm going to pretty much click right on, on top of that so, uh, on top of that rectangle right now. So I'm on top of that rectangle, just like so I'm on this one right here. Click right over it. And you're going to make a new layer right over that layer right there. And then clip and mask that layer onto that, you know, those pretty much those shapes that you don't have any uh, patterns on them. Take a brush and then take a simple just white brush, white soft brush, and just click and drag right over and then put this on overlay. To kind of get this nice sort of gradient thing going on if you want to lower the opacity you can see this this green one over here click over it make a new layer clip mask it and then just you know click around to make it a nice little gradient now that will just give it more color more pop and it'll just look a lot better when you have this sort of thing done so pretty much when you're done with this you're pretty much done with the entire actual banner design because now it's just gonna be a lot of duplicating color correction and then your very very simple little text work so once you're done with this, you're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much, I'm gonna just uh, control G that, which is pretty much gonna group it together. Just like so, group everything together like that. And we're just gonna call that pattern one. 
So once you have this done, like I said, you're pretty much good. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to press, uh, excuse me, on my, with my move tool, I'm going to hold alt, drag it right over to get a duplicate going. So this is where you can either flip it horizontal and do that like little strange thing I had like that. <coughs> excuse me. Or you can flip it vertical and then have something like this going on. Now this is a little weirder, but make sure it's also below everything because it just looks better if it's below everything. You'll get rid of that like weird little cut you have there. So let's just make sure it's below it, just like so. And then we'll just do something like that. Well, I, I can probably make this look really cool if I just follow that angle right there. Okay, I mean, those look pretty awesome. Let's just put it like that then. And then move it over again. So each duplicate that you make, make sure you put it below the next one. So we're gonna put this like right here, just like so. So very simple three duplicates. Looks really cool, by the way. Right now at this very moment, it looks really dope. So pretty much simple three duplicates going across. And now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just press Control J again on like let's just say the first one. So this is number one. This is our first uh, first original copy. This is the second copy. This is the third copy. Now this is the fourth copy. I'm gonna put above everything. The reason for that is I'm gonna change the angle right now on everything. So if I press Control T and I flip it horizontal. As you can see, everything's going this way, right? Kind of flowing towards this way. But this one here is not going the opposite way. I'm gonna take this one and then just put it on the sort of angle like this. All right, something like that. And if I want to, I can just turn it so I can get it right like with all the other diagonals. Okay, okay. That looks pretty good right around. Move it a little bit more. I'm trying to make, I'm matching this right here, by the way. And then, okay. And now that looks pretty good like that. I'm just going to make sure this cuts this way as well now as well. Perfect. So, it's very, very simple. It's very awkward at first. But once you start building it, it looks really freaking cool. Now, I'm going to really quickly just make sure this is number five. So, you guys know. Oops, not number six. Number five. So, you guys know that it was like the original copy. A copy of everything. So, you can see it's, everything's below it at that point. Because everything's going in this direction. You want to make sure it looks seamless. And then pretty much you make an original copy again for number four, make sure you put it above everything, but just change the diagonal to the opposite way and it looks really good that way. And we're gonna put our text in here right now. What did I call it? Tropical. Uh, let's just call it tropical abstraction again, like that. And then boom, abstraction. Okay, and then we'll put it in regular. And then lower it again. And then just put it right there. Just make this a little bigger, by the way. Like, even so, I just thought about this. If, if you can find, like, where... What was it, by the way? Like, two? No, don't put it inside the thing. I'm just, I'm just curious what to, I would put this in. No, it would be behind everything. That's weird. But if you even wanted to, like, get rid of, like... I don't know, if you kind of can already can perfectly tell that your text says tropical, whatever it was, if you rash the text itself and just, like, you know, maybe erase that. And then, let me just show you what I mean. Just because I'm really curious now. Uh, let's just go ahead and merge this together really quickly. What I was talking about was like getting of uh, this rectangle here in the middle, messing around with the text a little bit. If I just sort of like made a selection and then cut it and then just shrink it a little bit, what would that look like? Okay. See what I mean? Like stuff like this is what I mean by exploring and kind of messing around with it more. That looks pretty good to be very, very honest with you. I, I'm down with that because you can still see it says tropical extraction. I'm going to keep that because it looks freaking cool. So. Now you kind of see like these little things is what I'm talking about, including like the picture stuff and stuff like that. So at this very moment, we're pretty much almost done. I'm just going to do these little simple color corrections really quickly. So about everything right now, I'm going to put a brightness and contrast in very quickly, just like so. <coughs> Making it a little nice, a little more darker. I'm just going to put it on negative 25 and then 40 just to make it nice and even. Um, pretty much now I'm going to make a new layer. And with this new layer here, I want to select the darkest color shade I have here, which is this little blue here. I'm going to use a soft brush. And then just click a couple times around the actual banner design, just like so, very simple. And then put it on linear dodge add. Looks pretty good. So you just put a little light in there, just like so. And I'll make another new layer, why not? Use a green this time. I'm gonna click around the words themselves. Put a linear dodge add. Nice little color right there. And now I'm gonna right away put another brightness and contrast because I just put more lights in there. And it'll look really good if I just fix it up again. Now, for me, I actually did use a color balance for my original uh, example. So I used a color balance, and I sort of went, I believe, more reddish on that side, more magenta, and then more, let's just go with more blue this time. 
right? And it looks pretty good, just like so, right? Kind of just mess around with your shades a little bit. Looks pretty dope. So really quickly, I'm kind of curious to what my example looked like before. Okay, so the palm trees and then they're pretty much like little white little dots. So at this very moment, I grouped everything together because right now we're pretty much done with the entire full concept with like the little light stuff like that. A little simple color correction. And then if you want to add anything else, you very much can. Like another color, maybe like mess around with the color balance again and just kind of get that really nice cool tone that you really, really want. However, let's just put in those tropical leaves right now, which is the palm tree PNG. And let's just go ahead and get this thing going. So every time you want to make a new sort of section where the palm tree is like coming out of, make sure you just make a duplicate again. So I have the, of course, I have the example here. Let's just call this tutorial group. Every time you make another one, so I'm going to press Control J and then hide this one. And then I'm just going to use this one. So put that, just scroll that down a little bit. Uh, Control Shift that down. Uh, let's just put that there. Why not? Let's just go ahead and say... It starts right here. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ration the layer completely, and I'm gonna take this portion here. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go around it on the right hand side, connect it, make selection, press OK, and then press delete on my keyboard. Let's start it right there. And then let's say for some reason this green is where the actual leaf kind of hides under, and I'll come back up in this blue. There's no real reason for it, it just looks cool, right? Make sure you just follow this line though. You wanna make sure you follow the actual rectangle's lines. Makes it look as clean as possible. Connect it, make selection, press OK, and then delete. Now, it kind of looks like this leaf is going under and then over, but I kind of like, I don't like how that one looks right there. Let's just leave that one alone. And then let's just make it look, maybe you can mess around with it a little bit more. Let's just say this one maybe went under. Um, yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just messing around with it right now, right? Boom. Boom, and then connect it, and let's see what this would look like if it went under. Okay, that looks a little bit better, right? I think that looks pretty good. Uh, good. So, right there, I'm done with that. I'm going to click on this again. Control J to make another duplicate, rehide it, and then figure out my next location. So, for me, I'll say something like this might work. <coughs> Excuse me. Rash as a layer. Use my pen tool again. And let's just get rid of, right away, this blue is where I feel like it might look really good if it went under. So like right here and what I mean by when I go under like when I'm erasing it I'm just thinking that the leaf is hiding under that uh, rectangle so make selection press ok and then delete what would that look like um that would look basically really good if I just didn't mess this up right there you see what I mean you have to be very very careful with your pen tool because if you don't make it look good it won't look good period let's just make sure we get this as tight as possible and then let's see what happens now. That looks a little bit better. There we go. So now it looks like it goes under there, comes back over right there. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of this rectangle here. So there's a lot of picking and choosing. Pretty much you'll find like your groove. You'll find like that, that really cool style you're looking for. For me right now, I'm just like, just completely going with it and then just hoping it looks good. So that one looks pretty good like that as well. And uh, let's just add one more for the sake of the tutorial. And then we'll pretty much, you know, end it over there. Let's just rotate this one and like put it over here. To be honest with you, I mean, I can just leave it like that and then just add it, maybe another one over here really quick. Why not? And then the same thing over here. Cause we pretty much already have our concept going on there. Okay, perfect. Now you see this little black spot over here. I didn't even notice that. If you do have that, that's because that's what the background is. Just make a duplicate again of whatever one you ever had, like whatever the uh, diagonal lines you had, put it below everything and then just move it over there. Just hide that, right? Perfect and easy. So once you have this done here, I'm gonna make a new layer, soft brush again. I'm gonna click one of these greens on this actual leaf. I'm just gonna click around where the leaves are only, just like so, and then put linear dodge add in there again, just like that, lower the opacity down. And now I have this little simple brush in my actual stock brush pack, where it looks like something like this. Take a nice little white brush of this, and then just click around a couple times with different shapes or different sizes excuse me just like that like that over there and like that right there why the heck not and um pretty much we're done so it was very 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 simple and the whole aspect it's just very simple with rectangle shapes and the pen tool cutting them out deleting stuff around for the actual uh the leafs like it's going in and out to like make it look very interactive also i really do love what i do with the text here 
Um, I kind of just like, you know, I just went with the flow and see what happened if I just took the rectangle here. Basically what I'm just really using is the rectangles themselves as a sort of concept in their own self, basically, right? I'm getting rid of the stuff in the rectangles. I'm getting like my text is really cool because I kind of just erased what the rectangle was, shrunk it a little bit. It's very, very simple to kind of think of more things to do. And like I said before, the whole pictures inside this whole thing will look really freaking awesome. A very, very awesome steady color scheme as well will look really great. And uh, pretty much overall, you're gonna have a really dope concept. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video here today. So, do not forget, as always, two likes on the video equals a secret down below, which equals the PSD of this video here that you just saw here today. If you are not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You see videos every single week. Right now, being uploaded every Saturday, but in like the next three weeks, they'll be back on the regular Friday schedules, which will be like, you know, when you're back with school, you're like, oh, I'm done with school, and I'm just boom, here's my video. There you go. So, <coughs> we're gonna get that back on track excuse me i'm a little sick by the way i don't know um all right cool thank you guys so very much don't forget to follow me on twitter at system hq don't forget to check out my selfie selfie.com slash system hq for any pre of packs is always five dollars and as always guys have a great freaking weekend have a great day have a great rest of your week and until my next video until then guys talk to you guys later system hq out peace don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later Ah, uh, dude, what later? What the fuck was that? Okay, I'm just gonna quit now. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired. I can't wait to go to bed.